<laughs> okay, it's day two of the AES show. It's the first gig of the morning, and I'm here on the Waves booth with Mikhail, who's going to tell us all about the NX big thing. <laughs> well, if you're familiar with Waves NX, it's a great little room plug uh, plugin, rather, that gives you the ability to do stereo, uh, 5.1 surround, or 7.1 surround, and new here at AES is we've also introduced ambisonic support. So currently, in this first release, we're doing first order, which is four channel ambisonics in the B format, Ambix, which is what you see on YouTube and that sort of thing. So you can uh, encode using the new B360 panner, uh, as well as adjust your ambisonic tracks. So you can, you can basically make up whatever kind of 360 video you need to do, all using NX in your favorite DAW. And this all works with the same head works position with the same, tracking uh, device. The tracker here or the webcam on your PC or Mac, uh, laptop or iMac, whatever it might be, as long as it's there. The combination of the two gives you depth of field, meaning uh, volume as you move in closer, as well as being able to look around the room. A lot less ear fatigue is what mm. I love about it, as well as giving you a great source to monitor if you're on a <coughs> tour bus, if you're in a hotel room, backstage at a gig, or don't want to wake up the kids. Yeah. And I think you've added some graphical controls that make this very easy to drive. Yeah, it's quite easy to drive, easy to see, easy to work with. Uh, we'll get more complicated as time goes by, but we figure for the users that are working with this now, a lot of them are consumers out there looking mm -hmm. to do Facebook and uh, YouTube 360 videos. We wanted to keep the controls really simple and to the point, which we'll take a look at yeah. in a moment. So you have the 360 uh, control, of course, but I think, have you also added height control in there? Yes, we have elevation as well as left, right. So you mm -hmm. have basically the W, X, Y, and Z uh, format control of all of the energy level that would be coming in as well as elevation, yes. Mm. So when is this going to ship? This shipped about a week ago, actually, yeah. this particular update. And we've got more mm, updates okay. coming uh, to add more uh, for their second, third order as well that will be supporting up to fourth order as well. Just kind of waiting for some of the DAWs to get updated to support it. Okay. Is this a paid upgrade from the original NX? The Ambisonics basic support is included <coughs> just for any NX user who already owns the product. Mm -hmm. If you want to buy the B360 encoder panner, it's $299 US. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. These particular files that are playing in the background were given to us from MH Acoustics which you can find them online as well. Some great ambisonic mixes in first order, Ambix format, B-channel, uh, ambisonic files. We play that. What you can see here on the screen is my head moving around. Let's see if we've got this playing. There we are. We can adjust easily to see what level we're working on here with the ambisonics. Now, granted, when we're working with this, these ambisonics files are already set in place, so I'm not actually going to modify those. But we'll go to a different mix here, for example, four channels. And I've got four of the B360 channels on four independent tracks here that are playing, automated as well. And we can open up one of these, for example, here, and see what's going on. And as I move the head, I can see the different graphic representation of the energy, red being the lowest signal, up to yellow and blue, which would be the highest signals. So it's easy enough to see. You start it again here, let it play. You can see it tracks and shows you where it is in relationship to your head as we're moving around the window. So it's easy at a glance to see what's up. These are your elevation and width controls for each of these channels, so you can move freely around the window, uh, rather the, the room, any way you want, from forward to back, up and down. So that gives you a basic overview of some of the panning capabilities there. If we go over here, let's see, I've got th the usual examples here of stereo tracks that we can play with NX as well. We still have, of course, the original stereo encoded version of NX, which doesn't show the graphic representation. Whereas again, back to here, you can see a full graphic representation of all the signal paths in all three channels. So this lets three different users all work with NX simultaneously with their own tracker, moving their own set of head along within the room.